Hey, what's going on, everybody? We, uh, it's been a while since the last video. I apologize for that. Life's been a little crazy. Work has been nuts. I had buggy issues. H has had buggy issues ever since Moab. Both of us kind of have. So we haven't really, uh, I haven't really had a whole lot of content. We did go to Windrock and Black Mountain for the 4th of July. Had great trips there. Again, machine issues, uh, fuel issues. We figured it out though, so H and I both have. So hopefully we're back on track now. But anyway, today is a very special day. It's uh, it's early. It's, uh, it's like six o'clock. That's early. And um, we're going to Chocolock to ride me, Brian, Jessica, Ricky, and a very special guest, Mr. OG Chad. Now, if any of y'all have watched our videos from the beginning, Chad was in the group to start with. Uh, he got out of riding for a little bit and then got the fever again, bought a absolute incredible tube chassis uh, he we were all in full bodies back then uh, so Chad really hasn't ever experienced a full body he did come to Winrock with us and he rode passenger him and Rachel his wife came with us and he was like man I got to get one of those so after that trip he went home he was patient there was a lot of a lot of machines he looked at but the one that he found is a bad buggy like for real bad so he got up and he we got a group text with, with all the group with the guys and like we get like two three hundred text messages a day sometimes it's crazy but i got up i thought i got up early at like 4 45 and chad had already texted everybody that he's pretty much there so he he left at like 2 30 or something crazy like that to get to uh, Chocolock, he lives up in Tennessee. So he is super excited and I'm super excited for him. Um, I'm actually in fancy today, Charity's buggy. Cause H has my buggy. He is uh, getting some measurements and lines and things like that off of it to build the new buggy uh, that he's building for me. A single seat, very similar to the old buggy. I'm uh, gonna do a few things a little bit different on it, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Uh, Charity's getting my single seat buggy, and I'm selling fancy to Ruth. So I'm in fancy today. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Um, don't want to break the machine. Don't want to mess it up for Ruth. She's gonna be getting it pretty soon. And I am sort of handicapped. I basically chopped my finger off a couple of weeks ago. So. Uh, that sucks, but can't do anything crazy. Doesn't have hydro steer, so I'm not gonna gonna risk getting hurt. But excited to see the guys. Excited to see Chad. It's been a while, like I said, since we've ridden. Uh, but uh, Chocolock's always a fun park. I just wish I had a hydro steer buggy with a little bit more power and no broken bones. Seems to be a recurring theme with me, but. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know what uh, what's going on with everything, and uh, we are work is starting to slow down a little bit, so we are going to start pumping out more videos, and got a lot of content coming up. Like I said, with my new buggy, Charity getting in the machine, uh, a single seater, and uh, a couple of cool trips coming up. We got a race coming up in September, but. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the videos and uh, stick around. There will be a lot more content coming. Appreciate you guys watching and I uh, hope to see y'all out there. Thanks. Look at this idiot. Idiot. Don't be so harsh. <laughs> oh, he's, he's so nice on camera. All right, we're at Chocolock. Uh, we're not running helmet cams today. We are just going to use the handheld. And this is what I was talking about. This is Mr. Chad's new badass buggy. Chad, what time did you get here this morning? Early. <laughs> you ready to go? Ready to go. 
This thing is so nice, man. This is the nicest used chassis that I've ever seen. Like, all the tube and everything is in such good shape. It's like a brand new one. You ready to go, buddy? Let's go. Let's do it. First ride in the buggy. Let's go. Try not to show me up. I'm in a uh, naturally aspirated machine today. Does your wife know you got that? She does. In the wife mobile. Brian, you ready, buddy? Uh -huh. You aren't going to roll off Violator today, are you? No, I'm going to be tame today. I don't want to work on it. Good. All right. Hopefully, we'll get something. Like I said, we're not running a helmet cam, so we'll try to do our best. Good job. So you aren't you glad you tried it? Yeah. Good job.
list, buddy. Check that and off the list. Good job. Just a little bit, it seems like it gets traction. After that video, uh, Chad went up and was going to try boat ramp, and he went up it. He crawled it. Uh, it was pretty awesome uh, to see him do that, especially, like I said, after his first ride back in a long time. And I mean, boat ramp isn't, isn't easy to do. I mean, granted, we crawled it and we didn't, you know, hit it wide open, but there's not a whole lot of people that have crawled it, and we all did it that day, and it was pretty awesome. So if you've ever been, to Chocolaco and seen boat ramp. Like when you go up boat ramp, there's an immediate right you can take that's kind of like a bypass around it that drops back down to the entrance and it's a pretty steep drop. So we had all gotten through it and we were parked at the bottom of that hill. And then Chad, there wasn't enough room for him to come down and park. So he parked at the top. So we got out, we talked a little bit, uh, and then when we were getting back in to leave, when Chad was getting in his buggy, he accidentally touched the shifter. I mean, he doesn't have an a, a e-brake or a parking brake on his chassis, so he touched the the, uh, the shifter. It went into neutral or gear or something, and basically while he was hanging on the machine, he has to get in through the front. So while he was hanging on the machine, it essentially took off down the hill. And I was next in line, Ricky was in front of me, and I was basically touching Ricky's tire. So my machine was parked right there and I was on the bank looking up. And next thing I know, I'm getting in my buggy, I see Chad's roof and it essentially fell on top of Charity's machine. And, you know, the motor wasn't running or anything. So I was like, you know, what the hell, how did that happen? Like, I couldn't believe it. So I look over or look under to try to see where Chad is to see if he's okay in the machine. And he's laid over in front of my buggy. So, like 15, 20 feet away from his machine. So I'm like, how in the hell did that happen? So next thing I know, I hear Chad on the ground saying that he can't breathe. And we all were like, you know, oh, this is bad. So we go over there and we sit with Chad for about 45 minutes. He has trouble getting up, he can't walk. And so Basically, what we ended up doing was I took Chad to the Aniston Hospital and we were there most of the day. Um, Brian, Ricky, and Jessica recovered the machine, which was a very, very difficult recovery. And then Chad ended up breaking or fracturing two lower vertebrae and fracturing his pelvis. And so he's basically out of commission for four to six weeks. Can't really walk, can't really do much of anything. So I wanted to make this video, like I wasn't even gonna make a video of this trip just because literally we went from the parking lot 
to boat ramp and it was an awesome day like starting like jessica went up boat ramp for the first time ricky went up boat ramp for the first time and then seeing chad go up boat ramp was pretty awesome and then all of a sudden man it just turned into a crap day so i did at least want to make this video to hopefully i mean if it helps one person out or saves one person like when you're parking on an incline like that and it chad did do this it it, it just was a freak accident but find a rock find a bank don't park on a hill if you don't have to don't touch the shifter because it's happened three or four times with us where we've you know, we've been on an incline and it's bumped out of gear or moved or something or park in front of touch a tire of another machine in front of you. Just be careful. Like it can happen like that. I mean, just a freak accident. Like just be aware, be careful. I mean, there's a lot of things that can go wrong when you're out there riding, you know, obviously harness, helmet, you know, all of that stuff helps, but there's a bunch of whole other issues that can potentially happen and just be aware, be careful, you know, enjoy the outdoors, have fun, do it, go out there, man, like live. But, you know, accidents can happen. You gotta be careful. Uh, another thing too, Saturday, two people died at Iron Mountain. I'm sure most of y'all that are watching this video have heard about that or seen that. Both of them weren't wearing seat belts or harnesses, um, stupid, Stupid, stupid. Wear your harnesses, wear your helmets, be careful, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Uh, Chad's gonna be all right. He's, uh, he's at home resting. We're thinking about you, leave a comment, let, let Chad know that uh, you're glad he's back. He's gonna be back. Um, you know, like I said, he'll, he'll get healed up and then hopefully he'll be, uh, be at Winrock later on this year with us and uh, I look forward to having him and I'm glad he's back and uh, get well soon, buddy. Later.